Okay, this is going to be a quick video uh, with a special case of displacement velocity and acceleration problems again with calculus, okay? So if you talk about throwing a ball directly into the air, so that's your T and your H, or H is your height of the ball, yeah, that makes sense. Um, it's going to follow something like that, like kind of like a parabola. Obviously, that should be a straight line now. But so it goes up, obviously, it kind of stops at the top and it goes down. But the important part is that it stops at the top. Okay, so I'm going to write this down. This is ball being thrown up. Okay, I'm going to say at top, which is the highest point. This is important. It'll come up. Um, at the highest point, v is equal to zero, or ds dt, or dh dt is equal to zero. Okay, just remember that point because I'm going to go through a quick example now, and that's basically going to be the whole basis of the question. So if they ask you for the highest point or where the velocity is equal to zero, you know that's the top of the arc. Yeah, it reaches the top. It stops for a millisecond, for like not even a millisecond, just at that point, v is equal to zero, and then it starts to fall again. Yeah, so it stops moving and then it starts to fall again. Um, that's just a little bit of theory you kind of need to know. So the example they give us is that the height of the ball is given by 600t minus 5t squared. Okay, so h is equal to 600t minus 5t squared. The first thing they ask is to find um, how long it takes until the ball is at its highest point. Okay, so I'm just gonna say t is equal to what at highest point okay so to find that we say dh dt is equal to zero so that'll find us the highest point okay so for dh dt is going to be 600 minus oh, no it's minus 10t is equal to zero 600 is equal to 10t uh, it gives us that t is equal to 60 seconds, okay? Okay, so t is equal to 60 seconds at the highest point. So now the next thing they're going to ask us, obviously, is what is the highest point, okay? So I'll just say h is equal to what at highest point, okay? And you get that by sticking our value of t, 60 seconds, back into our original formula, okay? So I'm going to say that h is equal to 600 by 60 minus 5 by 60 squared. Okay, so wherever there is a t, we're going to stick in our value for a t, which is 60, and we're going to find h. Okay, so at the highest point, and h ends up being 18,000 meters. Obviously, it's pretty high, but just write in a different way 18 kilometers. Okay, so either one of those is fine. Um, so it's just a short video, like I said, but it was mainly just to show this point here that at the top, at the highest point of the turning point of the ball, that the velocity is equal to zero. So you can use that to find the highest point and the turning point, all that kind of stuff. Okay, hope the video helped. And that's the last video about displacement, velocity, acceleration.